Everybody knows that Cycle's render engine does not give you that bloom glow effect while well, EV does do that. And to get that in Cycle's you need to do that in the compositing and you know it's not as good as EV's bloom but still it's some kind of a bloom. Uh, but and if you ask why, why that happens you know most people would say that, that that's because Cycle's is a ray tracing engine while EV is a real time engine but and that's why Cycle's does not have that but that is not exactly the right answer. So let me explain. To understand this, we need to understand how an actual camera works. So now you have this camera, right? And inside a camera, you have this sensor, which is photosensitive. It is sensitive to light, that means. So what this photosensitive sensor does is, you know, let's just say that there is a ray of light and this light goes inside the camera and it goes inside the camera and it, and it hits the sensor. And when it hits the sensor, this sensor basically records it. It captures that light and creates an image based off of the data that it got from the light it captured. And that is how it makes an image. That is how a camera works. And that is exactly what Cycles does. Not just Cycles, any kind of ray tracing engine does this. This is what ray tracing means. It creates an image based off the trace of a ray of light. And you know, these bloom, these glow kind of effects are usually made from filters on the lens or you know if your lens is fogged up you get that fog glow or if you place a filter on the lens you get all of these glares and stuff. Yeah, but cycles is not the lens, it's more like the sensor, it does not take into account the lens. Coming to EV or a real time engine, it's more like a painting, it's not a camera taking a photograph it's more like a person doing a painting see when you're painting you're not going to be calculating real world light physics you're just going to make paint an image based off of what you think is the right way that light would act what you think is how light would behave you take a shortcut by creating an approximation instead of tape, taking the absolute values of light rays and that is what real time engine or ev does and that is why you don't get glow or bloom kind of glows in cycles so stuff just fell off my table <laughs> so uh real time or ray tracing you ask okay so i think real time will never ever match the standards of ray tracing but uh, you know in a world where speed is valued i think real time might just be the future or maybe better yet you know i think that uh, real time might take over the film uh, video and animation kind of things and ray tracing might still be the standard for rendering images well but we never know cycles is getting faster <laughs> ray tracing or real time what is your engine of your choice let me know in the comments below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up please so that more people can find it and if you like what i do if you like my videos please give my channel a subscribe because it makes me happy and um, i make really good co content when i feel supported and happy so that's it for now um i will see you in another video bye